How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel, 11 Ball Hunter. So I wanted to make this video. Um, I'm currently filming episode 13, which is gonna be a scouting video for you guys. But uh, kind of made a, a mid-season switch on areas that I'm hunting. But uh, you guys will find out more about that later in the uh, in the series. So, um, oh, they actually put a, a, a thing in this. But I want to tell you guys about a bow hunter's fall. It is the series I am dropping for the 2023 deer, or I guess hunting season, where you will follow me and my struggles through deer season, um, hunting like 90% public land, so you guys can relate to what I go through. I'm just your, your average guy who loves to film, who loves to hunt. So, and I'm a storyteller. So I wanna bring you guys along while I tell my story of deer season. You guys will see all the ups, you guys will see all the downs, mainly downs, but uh, uh, I'm trying to film every hunt and I make an episode out of that hunt. So you guys can see what I learned, what I, what I did right, what I did wrong. And uh, hopefully all that culminates down to me putting the tag on a nice deer. Now, uh, uh, I want to tell you guys with this series, there will be a few episodes where really nothing happens. Um, there'll be a few episodes where it's probably some of the best deer hunting I've ever had. I can say up to that at this point that that is true. But uh, yeah, I just wanted I wanted to give you guys a, something to look forward to. Just kind of wanted to film this while I was out filming my scouting video. I had like a mile and a half walk back to the area I'm going to, so I had a little bit of time. Like I, I've got no bow with me, no nothing, no tree stand. But uh, if you guys wanna learn more about the tree stand that I use, uh, I'll put it right here, Apex Predator Tree Stands. Um, that, that's the stand I've been using for this year. It's a great public land stand. Uh, some people may disagree, but that's all right. That's uh. It's, it's not going to be the greatest thing for every single scenario. And that's it with anything in life. Uh, vehicles, guns, bows, knives. They're good at a variety of things, but they're not perfect at everything, you know? So, uh, if you guys want to check out the stand I'm using this year, um, link will be down in the description. If you guys order a tree stand, make sure to tell, uh, tell Steve I sent you. I'd appreciate it. He'd appreciate it. But, um... Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it gains traction, and uh, you guys can see the kind of struggles that everyday Joe Schmo hunters like me and you go through when we hunt public land. Like I said, I do hunt a little bit of private land, in, about ten percent private land, but it's uh, very seldom it gets sprinkled throughout the season. But I'm not one of the lucky ones who has a who inherited farm ground or has a spouse that has hundreds of acres that I can stomp across and kill deer on. So, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna keep up with this walk. It's kinda, it's not a terrible walk, it's just a long walk. So, as I said, hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys like the video, like this video, make sure to subscribe to 11 Bow Hunter so you guys get notified whenever new episodes drop. I think I'm gonna drop three episodes a week. So it'll be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I think I have six or seven edited right now. I have 12 on the hard drive, and this would be number 13 that I'm actively filming. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So uh, hunt smart, hunt safe, and I'll see y'all out in the woods.